I came to dance, 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 dance. Yeah. I hit the floor because that's my plans, plans, plans. Hey, everybody. I hope everybody's doing well. Um, I haven't done a video in about a week. Hopefully, you guys caught my last video. Um, I accepted a challenge from my sister-in-law. It was a silent challenge, but it was definitely a challenge to wrap a Dr. Seuss book um, to some music, which I chose Vanilla Ice. So hopefully you guys checked that out because it was pretty awesome. Um, and it was a lot of fun as well. Um, so I am here today. I'm going to do a little brief um, video about washing your hands because it's still important that we are washing our hands very good um, and for the right amount of time. So I'm going to teach a little bit about germs and then I'm also going to um, do a short story um, kind of with a lesson at the end. I figured I have some kids listening to me right now so why not try to teach them a lesson? Don't hear that kids because then you won't want to watch the video. Um, so I hope everybody's doing well. I hope everybody's being is healthy and is still being safe and following all the rules. I know things are starting to slowly open up again um, but it's important that we continue to follow the rules and has been getting outside it's beautiful it's almost 80 degrees here today so i've been gardening i planted all my plants all the ones that you guys saw in the beginning from seeds so anyway i hope everybody's having a fantastic day and i will be back shortly so i am going to read a story with my friends today and it is called the proud rose and the moral of the story is to never judge anybody by the way they look. So I've been judged a lot in my life by the way I look because I like to dress different. I have shorter hair, but that's okay. There's a beagle back there. It's okay to be different because the world would be really, really boring if we all looked exactly the same, right? Once upon a time, in a desert far away, there was a rose who was so proud of her beautiful looks. Her only complaint was growing next to an ugly old cactus. Every day, the beautiful Rose would insult and make fun of and mock the cactus on his looks, all while the cactus remained quiet. All the other plants nearby tried to make the Rose see some sense, but she was too swayed by her own looks. One really hot summer day, the desert became dry and there was no water left for the plants. The rose quickly began to wilt. Her beautiful petals dried up, losing their beautiful color. Looking to the cactus, she saw a sparrow, which is a little tiny bird, dip his beak into the cactus to drink some water. Though ashamed, the rose asked the cactus if she could have some water. The kind cactus readily agreed, helping them both through the tough summer as friends. So I really think there were two morals to the story now that I read it. Um, you don't judge anybody by the way that they look because the rose Although she was beautiful and beautiful color and the cactus was kind of ugly and prickly and um, so she was judging the cactus the whole time, right? But then at the end, even though she was mean to the cactus, the cactus still found within his heart, if cactuses have hearts, cacti, I don't know. Anyway, um, the cactus was nice and kind and still gave the rose water even though the rose was so mean to her. So okay, so two things. Number one, I changed my shirt since the last time I filmed. Um, I did a bunch of cooking this afternoon, so I changed my shirt. So anyway, um, number two, I wanted to tell you before we go into the hand washing, something really cool. I think your body is a really cool machine, right? Lots of things are happening all the time. So germs are like secret ninjas right they're invisible you can't see them they hide in between your fingers and your fingernails all over the place right and you can't see them right so when you wash your hands you're really hoping that you're getting them but sometimes you don't right or sometimes you get a cut and those secret ninjas are like ha, 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 cut let me get in that body right but you have something in your body that's called white blood cells i like to call them my secret swat team 
army, right? So the germs come in my body, germs in my body, right? And my secret army, SWAT team, SEAL team, whatever I want to call them, they come and they fight the germs, right? Now, a lot of times they beat the germs, but sometimes they don't. And that's when we get sick, right? Or that's when we get an infected cut or something like that. So it's so, so, so important to wash your hands and make sure that you get all parts of your hands when you wash them. So watch the video. I'm going to teach you some cool things that'll help you make sure that you really, really get in between your fingers and your fingernails on the backs of your hands, right? So pay attention, wash your hands, stay safe. Kids, don't use paint as soap. It's just to show you something in the video. I hope you guys like the story. I hope you guys continue to stay safe, wash your hands, and enjoy the beautiful weather. Dance, 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 dance. I hit the floor cause that's my plans, 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 plans. I'm wearing